Greetings everyone, my name is Flair Bliss and welcome to Lola's World of Wonders. Now, this may look a bit cheerful, may look very, very happy, along with the title as well being happy, but what I'd say is before watching this video, look in the description below where you can download the game for yourselves or just be able to check out the game for yourselves at least, where you can find different... Um, context of what might be included in this game so for those who are a little bit sensitive to dark subjects and natures i suggest staying clear of this video but for those who are content with this we shall proceed with the game of lola's world of wonders oh okay here we go this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed people with mental health issues may not have a safe experience playing this game by choosing, I agree, you agree that you are at least 17 years old and you consent to be exposed to highly disturbing content. Do I look 17 or above, guys? I don't know, I may have to get, I may, <laughs> I may, I may have to ask somebody to see if I'm actually of age. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm coming up to 10 years over that age this year, for goodness sakes. I accept. Let's see what happens in this game. Once upon a time, there was a girl, and her name was Lola. Lola used to live in a beautiful world where she owned a house. All on your own, a house. In her free time, Lola would find different items to unlock new places to explore. So it's a bit like Umaniki. She called these items wonders, treasures, memories. Wonders were magical. They brought purpose and meaning to her new life. Some wonders made her feel real good. Like, real good. Some wonders were interesting enough to brighten her day. And other wonders? And sometimes she had a lot of fun collecting wonders. But oftentimes, Lola felt really, really sad. And so she went on a quest to find the ultimate wonder. The key to happiness. Hmm. The key to happiness is an individualistic journey, but to get it, she needed help. From a friend? From you? From us? Us as the player? I wonder if this will have multiple endings to it. Like one where we'll never find the key to happiness and others... It will be the case. So let's see. Hey there! Well, hi there. You talking to me? Can you, humble friend, help me find all wonders of this world? And will we be able to find the ultimate wonder? The key to happiness? I believe we can. Also, tutorial time. You're giving us the tutorial. <laughs> Press the arrows to move, escape to pull up a menu and space or enter to interact with objects. And unfortunately, if we fail you, Lola, you'll be blaming us because we're guiding you through this endeavor. If you have ever lost, don't worry, on the top right corner, you can see our most current mission. Nothing yet. Anyway, let's go. It's kind of like the, one of the best tutorials for anybody who is new to these kind of games. There's no electricity anyway. Then why do we have it? Let's see how ah, we can save lovely dovely. Some silly note regarding city forts. Don't say they're silly of, at all. Nothing fun in the drawers. Okay, my really, really cutesy pootsy bed. All snuggly, woggly, and still warm for my slumbers. Lola is on there. Plant. A cute plant. And over here, there's absolutely nothing fun in these drawers. Nothing fun at all. Do you see the words F-U-N? No, because it says anything else. I really love plants. So pretty. Uh, let's see door. No, no, that's a window. Door there? Nope. Can't go through that door. Don't look at this picture. It's embarrassing. Oh gosh, so embarrassing. Oh uh, dear. Surely you're not embarrassing. Oh my, I just remembered. It would be nice to cook something. Something big and yummy and kind of sweet. For that, we might need to find some ingredients. They're probably in the... Uh, I actually don't know. Oh well, laugh out loud. <laughs> the only way to know is to leave this house. 
But to do that, we need to find the key to the main door. We are locked in for some... It's almost like we're in a game. That's why we're locked in. <laughs> it won't allow us to advance, even with logical reason reasoning applied. Find the key to leave the house. A radio. It doesn't work, though. It would be kind of nice, just visual-wise, to have the... Um, the objective on the menu rather than just always on the screen, but then again, either way is still a nice touch, but just for visual sake, it would be nicer if it was on the menu. Oh my, let's see what we can eat, like in its own little text box. Um, hmm. Okay, with the current ingredients, we can make nothing. Like, what? How do I even know that? <laughs> We can't make nothing, and just in big, bold writing, nothing. In all caps. Oh my, let's see what we can eat. Nothing. Um. Okay, with the current ingredients, we can make nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, is it all just nothing? Is our task. A table. So fun. Why is the table so big in comparison to us? I'm not making that like a, a criticism. A radio? It doesn't work though. Some tables can be massive, by the way. Uh, guess what? We need a key! Of course, it's always a key. You would think since this is my house, I could just open the door from the inside like a normal house. Nah. It's almost like this is a game and we need to hunt for the key. You think too much. Let's find that key. Yeah, let's just find it. It's so obvious. Let's just... Let's just find... Let's just find the key. Like, it's so simple. Let's just find it. Cute lamp. It's almost as if this game is talking to us. This room is kind of cozy. Like mine. <laughs> Do we have guests in this particular room? Let's see. There's no electricity anyway. Maybe it's a PS5? Well, I'm a gamer though. Wait, does that look like a PS5? I don't see any memes being constructed out of that one though, so unfortunately I can't say that that is a PS5. Once again, nothing in the drawers. Cute desk. Cute desk. And a plant. Well, that smells like plants. Always inhale and exhale, folks. A bed for one person. A single bed that may also be called. But then again, with enough effort, you could probably fit more than one person in a single bed. Depends on how cozy you want to be. More drawers. And this. Mirror, mirror, tell me who is the most beautiful person in this whole world where only I dwell. Of course it's you. That's not true, mirror. Hmm, what's this in the drawers? Oh my, something of fun. Our first ever wonder. The key, we did it. Obtained Lula's key. Explore the outside. Well, maybe we don't want to do that. We got a wonder, but somehow this text is a little bit obscure. There wasn't any, um, uh, there wasn't any fonts that we need to install. It doesn't look like it that came with a package of the game. It's just that the text looks like it's squashed together, that's all. More cutesy beds. More cutesy beds. More drawers. I don't like how I look. Oh, come on. There's only one of you. You are unique in your own ways. There will only ever be one of you in this entire existence. Plants are really beautiful, indeed. You gotta love yourself, man. You can't just... You can't just think that you need to look like somebody else because you think they look pretty or that they're your example of perfection. Everyone is perf perfect in their own ways. Look-wise, anyways. Our mental state, we can always improve. And our skills. It's part of a learning curve as human beings. Huh, this looks really fishy. Like secret passage into a castle type of fishy. Hmm, there are so many books. Wait, what is missing? We'll probably get it later on. Let's keep looking. No, we need to get it now. Like really now. Like as now as it can be. There's no time like the prison after all. Uh, there's a nice quote I heard in a movie called Kung Fu Panda. The past is history. The future... So, but... Yeah, no... Gosh. The past is history, the future is a mystery, and today is a gift, and that is why we call it a present. This is my big garden. 
is full of fun stuff. Let's have fun. Now let's go up here because I don't want to have fun. We're not going to go straight. We're going to go around the edge. We're going to look to see if there is anything we can hop over. Like this huge playground. So, look at all this. It's just so nice. And romantic too. Hey, once we prepare some food, we can come here and eat together. What are you looking at me for? It would be so fun too. It's almost like we're the friend that needs to save her. It's kind of like the contrary to one shot where Nico is the character that is trying to speak to us, but they're doing the hard work. But no, this is flipped on his head where the character is speaking to us and we're doing the hard work in its own different way. Look at this cute pond. Very nice and relaxing for two lovers to sit and watch the days pass. You're trying to say that we're your future lover. Is that what's happening here? How is that going to work for a CG? Every single CG needs to be individualistic in correspondence to the player. If that is going to be the case. I mean, I mean, at least invite me out to dinner first. Like, that's, that's one rule. Such a nice garden. Such a lovely garden. What's this over here? I don't like this grave. Let's just go somewhere else. Okay, I just wanted to test something. See if there's any multiplications of exploring something that we do not like. Oh, what happened to this house? Is this, a, is this like the state of the mind of our protagonist, Lola? Hmm. What happened to this house? What is wrong with this house? Weird. We can't even go into the house. That's also weird. Is this an angel? Sometimes I get the feeling I am in heaven. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of beauty here that's in disguise and there's something very malicious going on. Mm, notes. Notice, Happy Town Ahead. Are you sure this is Happy Town Ahead? I thought this was a world where only one person exists. Are you sure that the dark themes don't come from... Uh, loneliness? This looks like a happy place. Why are you saying it looks like? Of course it's a happy place. You gotta be positive. It is, not it looks like, because that adds a connotation that it isn't. And every house has a sign, huh? We could check them all out. Maybe something interesting will happen. You never know. Oh, I know something interesting will happen. You are pretty. Oh, that's nice, but I don't think that's true. You're pretty. You are pretty. Damn it. <laughs> we can't even go into the houses. Uh, that's what we call trespassing. You always have a smile. Ah, These are the houses of compliments. We all believe in you. Oh, there's a... There's a why is there TNT here? Notice bombs inside. Oh my gosh, do you feel that? Oh my, this is going to be an explosive idea. No, seriously, we shouldn't blow this out of the Stop with the puns, okay? Puns are just the best... This is twice now that I've predicted what the text is going to say. Let's head inside. Ugh. We should check for the right size. It's almost like somebody went into free roaming mode in Minecraft and just spawned 10,000 different TNTs. If we need to clear a path, we wouldn't want to blow up the whole world. We want something that isn't too big nor too small. That's what she said. Anyways, uh, TNT, round and big. Uh, it's just too much. Too thin. Yeah, this is perfect. Let's have a blast. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. Obtained bomb. Big old bomb. This would blow up a whole mountain. Way too explosive. Round and big. So tiny and cute. You have barely noticed that bomb. It's almost like a... Um, oh gosh. It's about as explosive as open a crisp packet. We can seriously blow up this entire world with this. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? Are you sure about that? What about all this? Nothing? Okay. That's a lot of bombs. I'm not gonna lie. That's a big old bomb. What were we attracted to by bombs? We all admire you. These are definitely the houses of compliments. 
You are so nice and kind to everyone. Including the thing that doesn't even exist in this world, where it's talking to you through a, 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 a fourth wall perspective. You are so strong. You are so muscularly and strong. Your mess is the perfect mess. Really? You look out for your loved ones. That's definitely a compliment. And this? You are a great companion. Aww. What is it with all these houses and their bubbly compliments and this? You are smart. You are loyal. Another one. You are just the right combination of perfect. We are just the right combination of sass. Alright, let's continue exploring the outside to see where this journey takes us. Where this journey takes us with a gigantic smile. Are we going to blow up this house? What's wrong with this house? Weird. Let's make it anew then by... Removing the imperfections of this realm. But at the same time. Do not get rid of anything in these realms. Everything here has a place. Even if you think it looks to... Okay, let's do this. I'll say stand back. Oh, we do that by default. I was thinking there could be an ending where we just stand by the bomb. That wouldn't be great. We did it! Woohoo! I didn't even know that path was blocked. I was wondering what we got the bomb for. Let's see what lies ahead. Discover what lies ahead. Using a different save slot. Using a different wonderful save slot. Ah, oh, now we go this way. You think this game all has happy themes behind it, but it is definitely a very misleading tale that will drag you down when you least expect it. This walk is just so romantic. <laughs> Don't mind what I said. Also, I know what I am going to do once we find those ingredients. I am going to prepare a cupcake, and you are going to see me eat it. <laughs> You're going to watch me eat every crumb of this cupcake. And you are all going. Well, just to watch me eat this cupcake. I've run out of train of thought there. You're going to be so jealous of me once I have this cupcake. You're going to be awestruck. Oh my, what happened to all the food? Everything is empty. Well, it makes sense if you consider the fact that I'm the only one here. But still, it would have been a good idea to leave some food for me to cook. It would have been a good idea that in your world, that you would create the world so that you never run out of food to begin with. I must be boring you with these silly times. No, you're not. You're not at all. Oh, well, maybe we'll find these ingredients somewhere else. The thing is, though, if you know that there is nowhere else to find food, there's a map. I'm guessing we need to find some treasure. Uh, the green stands for grass, probably. The blue stands for... No, wait. Um, no, the blue is a lighthouse. The green is a cliff. And the red is probably the sea or the sky. It almost feels like an RPG game. No, that is it. Not that it is. Or that I'm aware of. Oh, forget it. This has a lot of fourth wall. Oh, it's, talk it's looking at these. It has words Emerald of Youth engraved on it. We may need it for later, it's not a wonder, but it's still useful. Obtained Emerald of Youth. Hey, it could be its own little thing, you know. Don't you dare say it's not a wonder. Everything in this world has some sort of wonder behind it. You just gotta discover- Ah, okay, so this is where the, uh, the Emeralds go. So... Uh, hold on. Okay, it just has a designated spot. Like, if you try and put it in the wrong place, it just doesn't allow you to put it in the wrong place. Uh, there's four... That seems a bit mundane, really. To have four different sets of steps. What kind of lighthouse is this? Four, three... Oh, hold on. Ah, maybe it's indicated by the number of... Um... Uh, hold on. Uh... Ah, okay. Different sets of barrels. So four, three, then two. Nope. Four, three, four. No. Four, three, 
three, no, four, three, one, four, three, one. There we go. There's another Bacepho sadness. But you're making me happier. Let's keep going. That treasure certainly has something special. Obtain Sapphire of Sadness. Is it because it's uh, affiliated to water and water is also affiliated to tears? There we go. Oh, we can open this. Or, no, we can't open it. <laughs> I thought it was like another one of these and it was blank. And we're completing it. We are thoroughly completing it. So we're getting red last, so does that mean anything? Is it also the order in which you get these emeralds or these jewelries in, depending on what happens next? Here at all, we're in the sea, certainly not the sky. Let's see, this angel. Notice these two angels will protect the ruby of love. There's only one angel though, unless we're also a representative as an angel. Uh, we need to negotiate this matter. We need to find another angel, folks. Are you the one? This might be the missing statue, but how do we move it there? Maybe I'll just talk to it. Um, missing statue. I don't want to bother you, but I think I might have found your sister. She is near the beach. If you would kindly fly to her, I would appreciate it. Two bees. Arigato! Okay, maybe we should... Maybe we should go back to the beach. Maybe we will magically find her there. Maybe. Maybe is the word which we should be most cautious of. Are you going to be here? Hey! It magically spawned. Lovely. Notice these two angels will protect the ruby of love. Oh, protect. Which means there's something else that needs to be done. Ruby of love. We're going to borrow it. Hee <laughs> hee. Obtained Ruby of Love. Ooh, that's not going to be great, isn't it now? I feel like there's going to be some consequence. There's a metaphor behind doing that, or a hidden message. Like, if you swore to protect something, and then somebody just whisks it away, there's going to be a consequence for that. And I feel this consequence might be very soon. Oh, we've opened it. Good job, we finally did it! Now time to cook. Obtained ingredients. And we just walked back here. Prepare cupcake. Prepare thy cupcake to be cooked and whatnot. But we're just going to explore upstairs just to see if there are any changes in our world. But it shouldn't be considering I'm the only one. I don't like how I look. Look, I think you look stunning, okay? I think you look marvelous. Like, to me, I think I look absolutely gorgeous. Even without the beard, I do look gorgeous. <laughs> now, you've got to compliment yourself. There's only one of you. And if you don't compliment yourself, then who is going to compliment you? Aside your family, your friends, the people watching you right now. That's right, Lola. That's right, I'm talking to you. Plants are really beautiful, just like you. Anything else? Uh, maybe we should just go and prepare the cupcake, but I'd just like to see if there is anything that changed while we've done other things. It could be the difference between the, the best ending or the worst ending. What is that? Hold on, what is that white door? We haven't been able to go through it yet. It's almost like that door holds some sort of secret behind it. We can only go for it once we reach the end of the game. We can make something fun! Let's see, we can make... Cupcake? A cupcake! I'm feeling really hungry too. And thirsty. Hmm... Anyway... So let's see how we can do this. You have a, some sense of humor, Lola. Hmm... Okay, that's interesting. Huh? Uh, okay, okay. So, if I were to do this, maybe... Maybe... I don't know what to do! <laughs> I'm so sorry for being like this! 
I I don't know how to cook at all. I know I should, but I just don't know how to cook. If only I had a recipe book. But you are here, and you will help me, right? You don't have to, but since you haven't left, I assume you have decided to stay, and will you please help me? Anything for you, Lola. Anything for you. You are making me blush. I, I, I will do anything you do. Let's go find that recipe book. It's probably in the, the abandoned house in the woods. Uh, abandoned with an A rather than an O. On the first O that there is there. Well, that isn't scary at all, but I have you and you have me. And that makes all my fears go away. Oh my, what is this? I feel a wonder growing inside of me. It's called love, folks. Is this the next wonder? It's the wonder of courage. Now, I am not afraid of going to that house with you by my side. It all should be fine. Let's go, more than friends, friend. You've only just met me, and somehow we're more than just friends. You shouldn't trust someone that quickly that you've just met. A radio, it doesn't work, though. Uh, yeah, like we, I think we need to get get to know each other first before we're sending off those kind of signals, you know, Lola. It is not good to open yourself up like to somebody that you barely know. I don't like how I look in it twizzity. Uh, nothing in the plants. They do smell nice, though. They bring a sense of relief to the atmosphere. Oh, maybe this is where the missing recipe book goes. There's one. Yep, yeah, I think we should put it there after using the recipe book. That is most definitely the recipe book because we need to find the recipe book. And there is a book missing. So add those two together and we should be able to do that. Look at that heart. It is still there. It shows that the love was already there at plain sight, at first sight, however you want to call it. This is a really interesting game. And I also like how the character in the game is speaking to you directly as the player. Like, I think there should be more games like that because it brings about a very unique sense of humour and objective. Hmm. Anything in this town of happiness that we should take notes of? Hmm. Maybe the book is over there? Ooh. Guide us through the darkness. Hmm. Uh, we can't interact with the mirror? Visit abandoned house. Maybe that's just where we should be going. Nope. There's some... Some paths that block us. Help me? What? What do you mean, help me? I just saw that like an instant. You saw that, right, guys? Uh... Oh. 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 We can walk through... Obtained recipe, nice. Uh, anything above and beyond our call of duty to get. I notice we can go through this mirror though. So that's not something that should happen. What about anything above here? Nothing at all? Okay. I'm really liking this game. It's casual, but it does have a dark undertone to it. Like it doesn't deliver it to the player immediately, but it is very subtle. Hey, this is the best for me, right? Even if things make no sense and may look harsh, I should always make the best out of it, right? I should never give up, right? I know you can't answer, but it's okay. Stay with me, please. I get really scared of what might happen. Hmm. Would there have been an outcome where we exited the game and then go back in it and then the character would say something else about us abandoning her? Like, that could be a thing? Alright, we can't delay this any further. Okay, this should be easy enough. So this should go here, maybe, and perhaps... Oh my, that startled me. Hey, this is kind of fun. Okay. A little more of this, a little more of that. We are in a game. 
Yes, we are. And we're making a cupcake. Cupcake! Oh, well, this, that doesn't rhyme at all. It doesn't have to rhyme. This cupcake tastes sweet, and this game is lonely. But cooking is a breeze, and you are with me. I really mean that, you know. Oh, it's almost finished. Oh, my. We finally got it. I can't eat it. Obtained cupcake. The cupcake wonder, yee! We must celebrate our labors. We should definitely go on a picnic. Just you and... There's nobody else around. Oh gosh, this really is the pandemic. <laughs> we saw a spot earlier near the river, didn't we? That is the perfect place. Let's go! Go to picnic near river. Hmm, I think there could be like a deviation in this game where you don't follow the path and there could be something along the lines. Go to picnic near river. This is the river, right? Ah, this. This love heart. Ah, such a romantic spot. There isn't anything better in the world than this. This cupcake, it tastes so good. It's just, heaven here feels so good. I can't believe this is happening. Aw, I'm so happy just being here with you. And this cupcake is so nice. I never thought it would taste this good, to be honest. This is awkward. I don't know what to say. Don't expect me to say anything weird. Baka. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, lol. Thank you. This means a lot to me. I really mean that. You could have closed the game before and left me here alone. And I know we just met, but I can't help feeling things when I imagine you are looking at me. It's like everything is colourful and my world is far better. Do you feel the same? Don't answer. I'm just going to say it. Don't make fun of me! Aww, I love you. Aww. And the fact that you are there looking at me makes me love you more. The fact I am able to reach you even if it's through a screen makes me love you more. And when I imagine you feeling the same way, I feel delicious just like this cupcake. Please, stay with me. Help me find the ultimate wonder. Don't ever leave me. How long do we stay here for? This cupcake tastes so good too. Aw, I love you, smooch. Please stay with me. Okay. Don't ever, don't leave me ever. We still have a lot to discover in this world. This adventure has just started after all. And what is this? Oh my, it's a book. We should put it back where it belongs. Where would that be? Obtained lost book. Put book back where it belongs. I know where this book goes to. I'm going to play this out as the happiest route we can go. And then I'm going to try some stuff. Because I think there's at least two different points where you could close the game and then come back to it. And the story may radically change. One in the abandoned house. And number two in the game itself. Okay. Oh my, it fits right in. I wonder what's going to happen. Am I just... Oh, Christ. Um. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't think that was the best route. We should have put, back, put it back where it belonged rather than putting it in a slot in the house. Now we disturb this entire world. This is definitely not the happy route that I was seeking. This is definitely not the happy, perfect paradise that we all seeked out. We definitely entered the horror realm of this game. Everything here is fabricated. Everything is distorted. Everything is contorted. What have we done? What have we all done, folks? What have I done? You're just watching. <laughs> watching, cheering.
I did not expect the game to just close like that. I see you. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Oh gosh. We're stuck on this path. Oh no, 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 no. That is not the way I thought this was going to be. Oh my gosh, it just... <laughs> the game has forced us onto this path. Mirror, mirror, who is the stupidest? Uh, just give me that wonder. Come on, hurry up, I don't have all day. Obtain stairs key. Wow. Oh, I should not have put that book back there. I should have... Hold on. How many different save slots? <laughs> It overwrit all 20 different save slots. It is forcing us to go through this path. <laughs> well done, developer, for forcing us onto a path. Nothing in the drawers. It's almost like the decisions that you make are very, very, very dramatic. We should check out another room. Ugh, this is annoying. Oh my, an invisible wall does not let me go through. Oh. Oh my god, that's so small. Super schmuel. So yeah, there is definitely a dark undertone into this game, but you just gotta glitch out the game to, in order to get there. Like, we may, maybe should have more beds. Maybe a couple slept here. No, you distorted the game. How on earth do you mean that we could be together? This one is called the Secret Goldfish. Hmm. Oh my, it's sort of bittersweet. It's about this girl who brought a goldfish, but she wouldn't let anybody see it. She didn't want them to find out her little fish had died. You forgot to feed it? Oh my, what is this? We found it. One of the wonders. A book. We better save it as proof of our accomplishment. Need an extra C in there. Obtain book of secrets. It's a big old book of secrets. These are all what? One, two... Uh, I think that's meant to be about purpose because of the distortion of the uh, the item's title. Wait, what item's title? An item's name. And what is in this room? A TV? No electricity to turn it on anyway. Damn it. Now I think another bed for a couple. Cutesy pootsy red beds. A gun in one of these drawers would make things easy. No. That would not... You're not... You're not... You're not either one of those things. You are perfect, but not in that context. How dare you. We definitely went on the wrong path, folks. But for... Oh, come on. This is, an horror, this is a psychological horror game. How could you not expect anything else other than some sort of twist and turn into this tale? Why put a TV if we can't watch it, stupid? There's nothing, there's never nothing in these drawers. There's goddamn nothing. Two beds for two lovers. No! Not for what? <laughs> I instantly cut myself off there. Uh, and I shouldn't use the word cut as well, just simply because of what we just witnessed. This game goes in depth. For goodness sakes. Whew. I do like this game though. What is with this? What an inconvenient way to go to the stairs. What is this house? Who were the designers of this house anyway? I'm not talking about the developer of this game. I'm talking about the people in this game that built this house. Oh my gosh, no. Why are we going all the way? Uh, what? Um, what's going on? Um, ha ha ha. You're going to help me, right? You said you liked me, didn't you? So will you help me get the ultimate wonder? Right? Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Lots of help me's. Hey, I don't know what is wrong with this place, but don't worry. Let's keep going. We're going to find the ultimate wonder for sure. Explore the... We're back here? Oh, maybe we can go through this place now. Oh no, it's still... We should check out another room. Okay, what's going to be next then in this agenda? Oh, this place has certainly changed. It's become all warped. Mm. Almost like two different rooms merged into... 
Hold on. Uh, I didn't even get to see what that said. Oh, you, you guys are going to have to pause and see what that said. I do apologize. I didn't expect it to come up with text just by walking into it. So many boxes to check. For what, anyway? For hope. Yeah. I think the idea back there, if you want the perfect ending, is to put the book back where you initially found it, rather than the place that you could have it in the house. Nothing here. This is annoying. What are we doing here, anyways? Our own reflection was looking at us there. I didn't expect jump scares, though. It didn't say jump scares. It says psychological horror. Uh, we should definitely check all of these boxes. Um, we can't even investigate ourselves there. There's a, a hidden barrier. Uh, empty. Just like our hopes and dreams in the real world. They are empty. They are empty, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Just because of the synopsis of this game, I don't expect it to be a, a six hour long game. Let's see what's up here. Empty! Again with the emptiness. Uh, we can't even interact with that box. Maybe we would. Oh yeah, we already interacted with it probably. And this one? Okay, we definitely did not interact with that. Why can't we interact with it? It all. Can we... Um... Come on now. Look, protagonist, let's just behave here and please speak up. This stupid search is just boring. Yeah, and I'm leading you throughout it. Maybe we should ju should have just headed up, really. <laughs> this box is empty. Wait a minute, that's, that's a different box, bro. How do you know that was empty beforehand? Unless you've already been here. Nothing here. Ah! You're demonic. Oh my, this one has something. Yes, we did it. We found another wonder. I'm so excited. My tiny heart is going to burst. Forget it. Anyway, let's keep going. Obtains broken doll. Why is it a broken doll of all things? That is the thing that we need to collect. I wonder if we missed any wonders on our journey. Our lovely, wonderful journey throughout this hellscape. Yeah, there's definitely some connotations of self-harm in this game. Also thoughts of suicide too. But that's what makes the story powerful. It's a fact that- Oh. Oh no. Oh crikey. Pretty. I was just wondering what would happen if I were like Superman. Superwoman in this case. <laughs> would I fly? Or would I just fall down? Boom, like that. Don't do it. Come on, this isn't... I'm not going to jump, silly. This looks somewhere else. Hmm. I was a little scared there. I'm glad you didn't do that. Yeah, let's go elsewhere in the game to see what we can find. We found the wonder in this room. Man, when the jump scares come to you, they do kind of hit you hard because they're just so unexpected. It's like one one minute, this is perfectly fine, and then something completely shoots into you. Um, this place is the same. Um... Uh, no. None of that, please. Nothing. You are in your own head. Cute plants. Whatever. Hey! I thought you complimented cute plants before. Where is this path going down to? This is not good at all. We're over, f I don't know, 44, 45 minutes in. Nothing in the drawers. Um, nothing there. And nothing there. Is this invisible bar- Oh, the invisible barrier is gone. We can look this way now. Lovely. Nothing. I. N. The. Drawers. Oh, gosh. Now, this is a very weird room. And what is this? Oh, it's so sweet. Every day I imagine a future where I could be with you. Yeah, that's what we wrote. Aww. 
Yes. Yeah, we definitely wrote that. Somehow down the line, we dove, divulged into the game and just typed that bit of coding in. It's just so silly that the developer input. Oh my god, what the hell? Uh, it auto saves every time a dramatic difference is made. A red gaming device! What would be red? No electricity, what a shame, we could play something. Maybe a game about a girl who is lost in a dream world? Yeah, if only we could play something like that, guys. We could be playing something else entirely, but no, we're in a, a game where we're lost in a dream world, guiding this lost soul. I guess we shouldn't go there. Gosh, this is definitely the most fourth wall breaking game ever. Books are kind of boring sometimes, especially if they don't have any pretty images in them. Sweet dreams. No, man. Nah, no, fam. We can't even enter through the door. Oh, gosh. What about up here? Now, this is definitely another very weird room. And the stairs should be on the floor rather than on the wall. There's nothing inside. Nothing inside. Nothing at all. Are you sure about that? Who is even going to listen to this radio? It's not like somebody else lives here. Um, there's you. There's me. <laughs> These plants are all nice. Are oh, you complimenting them this time? In heels. Lovely plants. Stools. Okay, what about this plant over here? Spits. <laughs> to be honest, these plants are gross though. Uh, going down then. Are we finally able to escape this place then now that we're here? Explore very much. Oh wait, why are these two splicing together? Um... We need to find three different notes. Hmm. Own no notice only those uh, truly excited. I need to be excitement wonder. Hmm. We might need to look somewhere else then. Okay. Explore them. Oh my gosh! The writing just got corrupted. <laughs> the objective has become corrupted, folks. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie about that one. Okay, what about going this way then? Okay, so this looks like the library. It's a little messy. There are books lying around. Let's get rid of them. Ten books to get rid of. Oh, it's gonna be really annoying. Ugh. Damn it. What do I need to do to get rid of more books? Look, there's a book here. There's a book there. Book there. There's books everywhere. How are you gonna get rid of all these? There are thousands of them. We got rid of the first book. The first book out of many. Do you know what books contain that will never die of if you preserve them well? Knowledge. Books are so underrated. Like, I don't read books myself, but I get the idea of how important they are to have. Like, when the internet's down, when electricity is down, you can always fall back onto the classic, the classic book that you can feel and touch and all that. And no protagonist, we're not going to be snuggly buggly like earlier that you said. Not in that way. I thought you said you loved me, but not. We got the fifth book, we're halfway there. Hooray! Hooray. Ah, we got rid of a Sith book. Um, this goes down a long way. A really long way. Remember that jump scare? Oh, only three more to go. Remember that jump scare earlier that had like the eyeballs and redness? Is that how she reflects herself as? Um, we got rid of the eighth book. Oh gosh. And there's the ninth book down there. We got rid of a ninth book. What does that passageway lead to? It's a really long, narrow pathway that leads to nowhere. We just went down there for no reason, but I thought there might have been an event there if we went down there. Congratulations, you went down this incredibly useless path. Here's, an, here's a reward for you, the tenth book to exterminate. Here's the tenth book. We got rid of a tenth book. Yeah, we are close. We are getting closer. <laughs> One of excitement, finally. Stupid library, stupid books. Obtained excitement. Ah, we get all the way back to the entrance. 
Outstanding. I feel like, folks, there's going to be much more to this game, despite my comment earlier, thinking that this game is not going to be six hours long. But, we definitely are fixed onto a path of sorts. Now, when it comes to the save files, the game updates it as soon as you done do something detrimental that kind of changes your course, in a sense. But... I think the only way to really rectify the whole thing is to remove all the saved data so that when you go back into it anew, you can go back to it anew by uh, just clicking start the game or something like that. I do wonder though what would happen if we do decide to leave. Uh, yeah, I'm really sure because this is the end of the video. So thank you all so much for watching folks and see you all in the next time of Lola's World of Wonders. Oh, but... Okay, so we left you. Hmm. So yeah, you see me. Exit. <laughs> Wait, what would happen if we go back in again? No plot twist here, is there? No, it's just going to give you that irky menu. Thank you all so much for watching, guys, and we'll see each other in the next time of Lola's World of Wonders. Have an absolutely fantastic day, and take care of yourselves.